Hello, I'm going to showcase to you today the Ledger Hardware Wallet integration and how you can now use the Ledger Hardware Wallet to hold ICP and to stake neurons. With me today, I have a Ledger Nano S and on the screen here is Ledger Live. I had connected this wallet to uh, Ledger Live, made sure that the firmware is up to date. And the first step to start using this hardware wallet with the internet computer would be to install the internet computer app. So I can go to the app catalog, search for internet computer, click install, and it'll take a few seconds to load the app onto the device. I'm using a Nano S, you can also use a Nano X, it'll work just as well. Okay, so now the internet computer app is installed. I can now close Ledger Live. We don't need this anymore. And to use the Ledger hardware wallet with the internet computer, you'll need to create an account on the NNS app, which is accessible at nns.ic0.app. The DAP is the front end for the network nervous system. You can use it as a soft wallet already to store ICP and to save neurons. You can additionally vote on proposals to the network. You can create canisters and so forth. Now I'm going to add this hardware wallet as an account to my NMS DAP. So I'm going to click on Add Account, Attach Hardware Wallet. I'm going to name it Ledger Dano. I'm going to click on connect. Oh, and it's telling me that I need to run the internet computer app. So I'm going to open it on my wallet, click OK, and try again. And now click on attach wallet. And that will take a few seconds to add this account to my NMS app. OK, so now the, uh, the Ledger Nano has been added to my NNS app. You can see that I have already preloaded it with some uh, ICP. And the next step is uh, showing you how you can send ICP with the Ledger Nano. To send ICP, I can click on New Transaction. And I'm going to select my hardware wallet as the source. I'm going to send money to my NNS app account, the main account. Let's say I want to send three ICP. I'm going to review, and this looks good. Click on Connect to Wallet and confirm the transaction. And you'll now see a transaction on the hardware wallet screen. Yes, I want to send ICP from the account looks correct. The destination looks correct. And now I'm going to approve. And transactions on the internet computer are asynchronous. So it's actually two transactions. One of them is, in this case, sending the ICP. And another transaction is for reading the result. So I'm going to approve, checking the status of the transaction. And now the transaction is complete. So, so now I have transferred three ICP from my hardware wallet onto or into the main account. I can also stake neurons using my hardware wallet. So I can select my hardware wallet account. Let's say I want to stake five ICP and click on create. And now this is a stake neuron transaction. So I can confirm the details and click approve. And similarly, I approve the check status request. And now a neuron has been created. However, uh, this neuron, uh, you need to give permission to the front end, to the NNS app, in order to see this neuron. And to do so, we have this concept of a hotkey. And when I press this button, I would be adding a hotkey uh, to this neuron, which is the NNS DAP's principle. 
And then that allows the NNS step to be able to see this neuron and for me to see it in the UI uh, and see its details. So I'm going to click on add the NNS app as a hotkey. And that is the correct neuron ID. The principle looks correct as well. Okay, done. Uh, I can additionally choose to uh, specify a dissolve delay, uh, but I'm going to skip that for now. And now you can see that a neuron has been uh, created. Uh, now I have a number of options. I can choose to disperse this neuron back into my account. I can set a dissolve delay. I can increase the neuron stake. I can add more hotkeys and all of these um, all of this functionality will work just as you would expect and just as we had demoed. Additionally, you can go to the Hardware Wallet's account page and you can verify that the address that is shown in the front end is the real address. So I can click on Show Principal and Address on Device and that will show my principal and I can now verify that the address matches the UI. I can also click on Show Neurons, which will list all the neurons that I staked from this wallet. And you'll notice there is the neuron that we had just created, but there are additional neurons, and these weren't visible on the Neurons tab because I did not add the NNS tab as a hotkey. In other words, I didn't give permission to the NNS tab in order to see this neuron. And I can change this here. For example, I can add the first one, the 105 neuron, to the NNS tab. And yes, I am sure. So this adds the hotkey of the NNS step to this neuron. And now if I go to the neurons page, I'll now see also the neuron that I had just added to the NNS step. And that's it. This is how you can use the Ledger Hardware Wallet to hold ICP to stake neurons. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask on the forums. Thank you.